Let me hear you shout hallelujah. Somebody is here. I pray for you that you will encounter power this morning. You are not saying a loud amen. I want to appreciate this privilege to be here again. Appreciate our Father and the Lord here and our mommy for giving us this opportunity to stand on this altar again. Lift those two hands above your head. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are who you are yesterday. Today and forevermore. What you say is what you do. You never change, you never fail. You are faithful to the end. Faithful God, I worship you. I worship you. You are too faithful too to fail me. me. Oh, are you sure? Oh, you are too faithful me. to disappoint me. Yeah. You've proven yourself in my life. And I've come to realize. You are too faithful to fail me. 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 You are too faithful to disappoint me. You prove yourself. You prove yourself in my life. And I've come. And I've come to realize. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You are too faithful to fail me. Yourself in my life, I've come to realize, and I've come to realize. Hey, can we do one more time? Hey, you're so faithful to fail me. You're so faithful to fail me. Hey, you are too faithful, Lord. You are too faithful to disappoint me. Open yourself in my life. Open yourself in my life. And I've come to realize you are too faithful to tell me. You are too loving to leave me. Too loving, Lord. You are too loving to leave me halfway. Jesus. What you start, you always finish. That I've come to realize. You are too faithful to fail me. What you start, you always finish. But I've come to testify. You, you are too faithful to fail me. You are too loving to leave me. E kapala de bosa tayadiaza. You are too loving to leave me halfway. 
Has it start something in your life? What to start, you always finish. Now I've come to realize you are too loving to me. You are too committed to leave me. Eka para de bozata. You are too consistent to leave me halfway. What you start, you always finish. But I've come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, Omeka Naya. I worship you today. Jesus, Omeka Naya. For your throne, bowing before your throne, sing we glorify, we glorify your holy name. Kawe lama kawe kawe lama I want you to talk to God by yourself. Lord, let me have a fresh encounter with you today. Let me experience you in a new way today. Jesus, let me feel you again today. I need you to talk to God right now. Father, let me experience you again today. <laughs> Talk to him. 
Jesus, let me fill you in my life again today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want you to lift up your two hands. <laughs> this is not a normal morning service. I'm speaking because of what I have seen and I have heard because of today's meeting. And so please don't expect on you. Don't expect usual. Expect unusual. Why you lift up your two hands? I want you to cry unto God in this prayer. Say, Jesus. Is that the loudest voice you can shout? Today, show yourself in my life. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Show yourself in my life today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Father, we exalt your name for this morning. Throw your weight around. Let the devil know that you are the boss. Minister to somebody here and let that person go home with a major testimony. Lord, I ask that you will minister to that person who is saying a loud amen here today. Let somebody here have an encounter with you in a new way. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Have your seat. God bless you. Celebrate my father, your father and the Lord, Dr. D.K. Lukoya. I pray that wherever he is, the grace of God will never depart from him. Please help me to celebrate the best choir I've ever seen in the whole world. Each time I come here, I feel like worshipping God and drop the mic and I go. God bless you, people. God bless you. Amen. Genesis 32. Help me open to Genesis 32. And we're going to read from verse 22. The book of Genesis 32. And I read from here. If you are there, shout fire. Are you sure you are there? He rose up that night and took his two wives and his two women servants and his eleven sons and passed over the fourth Jabbok. And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that over that he had. And Jacob was left alone and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his tight and the hollow of Jacob's tight was out of joint and as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Why thy name shall be called no more Jacob but Israel? For as a prince, thou hast power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob and Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. Verse 31 And he passed over Peniel. The sun rose upon him, and he halted upon his tides. And there, therefore, the children of Israel eat not of the sinews which shrank, which is upon the hollow of the tide unto this day, because it touched the hollow of Jacob's tide in the sinews 
that Israel. I'm speaking briefly on, oh Lord, take me to Benel. Somebody is about to be taken to Benel. If you are that person, let me hear you shout a loud amen. Say, oh Lord, take me to Benel. The Bible says this, there, there was this man called Jacob. Something was about to happen to him. He was about to, to receive an encounter that would change his life. He was about to encounter God. And uh, that's the most important thing that he need at that time. Because suddenly, there's Esau that he ran away from. For several years ago, he heard that Esau was coming. And he knew that this time around, he couldn't run away from Esau. Because if he ran, what about the children? What about the wife? What about everything he has labored for? He needed an encounter. And the Bible says he sent his children and his wife. Everything he had and he was alone with God. And, and the Bible said that particular place where he had an encounter with Yeshua where he had an encounter with the God that created the heaven and the earth was called Penel. And when he got there, <laughs> it was a place of no return. And God met with him and that was what changed his life. And when you see Jacob, if you have the privilege to see that brother called brother Jacob and if you ask him, when was the, your life turned around? He will tell you, my life changed the day I got to Penel. I'm going to tell you what penance is all about. What penance is all about. When you ask him, what happened to you? He will say, something changed in my life. That I, there was a particular change I could not recover from till I die. And that was the change that took place in my life at a place called Penne. The day I can never forget in my life. That was the day his name changed. The meaning of his name was actually called Froster, a thief, a robber. But as, I, 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 I as soon as he met with that angel at Pene, the Bible said the angel asked him, what is your name? And he changed his name. There is something that you need dearly so much today, people of God, and it is an encounter with God. And listen, it is an encounter that makes you to count in life. If you want to count in life, in this wicked dispensation, somebody is got to have an encounter with God. And if you go and study, I'm going to say so many today that you may probably don't like to hear but you have to hear it by force amen when you go and study the the life of the children of Israel in those days there was something they 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 they, they were so afraid of so much and that was to see God because they know that day you see God something must die in you and listen to me you cannot there is a power that cannot enter you until you have seen God men who have an encounter who are demonstrator of God's power they were men who God has appeared to face to face and when you, when you read that scripture very well the Bible says and, and, and God told, he said because I have seen God face to face the meaning of Benia is a place of where you see God face to face. Now until you get to that point, you can't really, your Christianity will still be questioned. Your Christianity will still until you appear at a place called Pene. At a place called Pene. At a place called, and look, the children of Israel were actually afraid of seeing God. And yet that was what they needed so much. And the day that reality dawned on them, that's the beginning and the step to power. Now it's like saying everybody, everybody don't want to go. To, everybody wants to go to heaven, 
but not everybody wants to die and you cannot go to heaven until you die you have to die you have to die it is amazing that the thing they were many people are running away from is what you need is what you need the only thing that would change the life of Jacob the only thing that could have transformed him at that point in time was that God should appear to him face to face when he came out of Penny, his life was never remained the same John chapter 12 verse 24 Jesus said a slight a corn of wheat falls into the ground and die it abideth alone but if it die it bringeth forth much fruit look there's something I want you to hold very well in this world that when you see God, you die. You can't be alive again the day you see God. The day you see God, you can't be alive. You know, a dead man does not have control over his body again. You can't see God and still be fornicating. And this is the reason why we have a lot of cathedral all over the world and yet we have little demonstration of power because a lot of people coming to church carrying big bible they have no encounter with God I am speaking to you of what I have experienced <laughs> somewhere I was somewhere yesterday stroke on Friday stroke yesterday morning and I was praying I said Lord I want to see you and I checked my time I have prayed for 13 hours Lord I want to see you what I needed so much at this point in time is you because when you come every other thing falleth the Bible says seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added there are things you cannot get in life until you have seen God Lord appear to me I want to see you a man of God went to a particular country and he saw a fellow man of God like him his ministry and, and dead were rising and, and crippled were, work, were, were, were getting on their feet and they look at him he said the same way God called you is the same way God called me and he asked the man he said what is your secret he said I am doing this thing because I have seen God and the man told himself he said okay he traveled back to his, his home when he got home he locked up the door he told his wife and, and he threw the key under the table he said until I have seen God don't open this door and they began to pray day one, day two, day three, day four, day five the door was closed I don't know how many days until God, Jesus appeared to him inside this room and he came out from that day he began to do miracles and the wife looked at him he said, only you are the one that have seen God I have not seen God he said, until I see God also I am not coming out of this room and the wife locked up herself also and began to pray appear the woman is the assistant general overseer of the ministry now wow she saw God listen you better stop this try this prayer Lord I want to marry you can't see God and see the men of marriage you can't see God and still be poor it's not possible it is not possible so that's why you don't understand that scripture seek ye first the kingdom of God you have got to go and, and, and do an analysis you have got to go and do a research of what is called the kingdom of God the day the reality of the kingdom enter into you every other thing will fall into place you need to see him you need to see him if you must have a full walk with God in this wicked dispensation look at the prophecy given by our father and the Lord that started happening and, and you want to just be a normal Christian in this in this 2020 
Ah, may God open your eyes. May God just open your eyes. You cannot be a normal Christian and survive this year. You need God to speak to you face to face. What is Penny? Penny means the face of God. The face of God. The Bible says the day a man sees God, he dies. Fornic appetite to fornicate dies in you. Appetite. You know, there are people who come for our deliverance program here. You come, that's why you keep disturbing pastors. We pray the same set of people that come last week. They are saying, Oh, coming this week. Why? It is not because God does not answer prayer. You can't you can finish the stuff of prayer and you go back home to go and fornicate. The demon comes back on you, to you and begin to deal with you. You come back and be giving us stress. You, what you need is for you to see God. When, when God appeared to you, you lost the appetite. You lost appetite to open your trouser at a little provocation. You need God to see you. You need to get to that point where he appears to you. The, day, the Bible says the day Uzziah died, Isaiah saw the Lord. Something in him died, then he saw God. It is interesting that many remember, what many remember from this scripture is that God, Jacob fought with the angel and the angel blessed him. But what was there is deeper than that. Very deep. Very deep. This is not the biggest thing that happened in that story. What happened there was beyond the blessing. It was an encounter that made Jacob to count in his destiny. In his destiny. It doesn't need. Listen, when you study the book of Genesis 33 verse 17, you will understand that Jacob actually does not need blessing again. Because Isaac said, I am blessing and he's a blessed man already. That was what he told Esau. And when Esau came back and discovered that Jacob has stolen his blessing, he said, I am blessing and he's already blessed. So what, what, what blessing does he need again? He doesn't need blessing. What he actually need was God. There are so many people who are crying, Lord, give me a husband. And God said, no, what you need is me. It's me. We have a lot of babies who come to church. Babies. They are here now because they have a need. The day God answered their need, they stop coming to church. Hello? Am I lying? You know now. They want, some of them want to disgrace the powers of their father's house. That's why they are here. Now until the day you see God, you serve God because you love him. <laughs> I have wake up sometime in the night praying and I don't have a prayer point. I'm just worshiping God and after I finish worshiping, I, I, I start to speak in tongues. Sometimes my wife look at me, oh, God, don't you have a prayer point? I don't understand what to pray about. Because I know I cannot carry the presence of God and the demon comes to press me down. It is not possible. So that's why what I look for. And there is, and there is something I, I, I cherish so much is the presence. Anyone that wants to take me out of his presence, I call such blessing out from him. Jacob thought what he needed was blessing, but not blessing. It's an encounter with him. It's an encounter with you. You don't need a car. <laughs> so not a house. Because all those things are inside, are under, after you have seen God. The angel eventually did not grant the, the request of Jacob. He said, bless me. He said, what is your name? What has name God to do with blessing? Bless me. If you don't bless me, I will not let you go. He said, oh God, what you need is not blessing. What you need is an encounter. He said, what, what is your name? And he said, my name is Jacob. He said, no wonder. Your name is Jacob. And he, he, I'm sure he interpreted what that name means. And he told him, he said, your name shall no more be called Jacob. 
but Israel. He said, I can't bless you because your name means a thief. No matter how powerful you are on the place of prayer, God can never bless a thief. He will never bypass standard to bless a man. There are standards. He will not bypass standard. Let anyone lay hands on you, lay leg on you. There are some breakthroughs. I was, I was talking with a man of God. There was one of our brother that we know this man is he, he, lives, he lives a dangerous life that the life that almost confused people like us. He will be telling us grace covers. And what we knew what this man is doing, it is against the will of God. He will tell us, don't worry, grace covers me. The day God began to deal with him, he traveled from the valley to the mountain, met the man of God, heard the man of God and said, sir, pray for me. The man said, father in the name of Jesus and he closed his mouth. He said, God, say, I am the one dealing with you. And I cannot join you to fight against God. You need an encounter. I can't bless an unbroken person. The angel was, it, it, it was like saying, I cannot bless a rebellious child. What is your name? Let me change you before I can bless you. There is a blessing of God you cannot get until God has changed you. If you must have a fruitful war with God, you need God to take you to Bene. For what shall it profit a man when he gains the whole world and he loses his soul? Ladies and gentlemen, I am not asking whether you go to church. I am not asking whether you speak in tongues. I am not asking whether you pray every day. What I am asking is that have you seen God? Listen, the day you see God, people around you will know <laughs> that this one has seen God. This one has seen God. Look, there are things I'm hearing now and I'm trying to delete it because these are, these are messages, these are words that kill somebody that wants to know more about God. All kinds of nonsense is not happening in the church. Because people fail to listen and to ask God for this kind of prayer. When was the last time you prayed? When was the last time you wake up in the night and you are praying, Lord, appear to me. I want to see you. I want to see you. Now, if I give you one prayer for now, that go home and pray that Lord see me. There are only few people that will pray such prayer. But let me give you a prayer. <laughs> I see God open up, go and pray. Let every demon that disgrace your father release you. Oh my God. The whole of this place we feed up. That's why we keep praying short prayer and we still having problem. Lord, reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me. When you see God, <laughs> everything about your life will change. The scriptures of those who have seen God, there are those kind of people that are confessing Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Those are the scriptures of those who have seen God. They are those confessing to live is in Christ and to die is gain. Those are men who have seen God. Those are men who have seen God. Those are men who have seen God. Uh, Job said, Job 13 verse 15, he said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Elijah was able to do more in his own time because he saw God. He saw God. Those are men who who dealt with flesh they were doing the kind of fasting that, that, would, that terminates their flesh not because they want to kill their enemy but they want to see the kind of God that is sending them 
a message. <laughs> on Thursday, I came to do something in Naboyade Code. And as I was coming out, a man called me on my phone. And he said, he said, Pastor, I said, what well, you said, this is engineer. Immediately he called. I knew this was 419. He said, this is engineer. I said, oh, engineer Ibem in Abuja. He said, yes. How are you? I said, fine. I said, you will see something here today. All the pastors in, in the car, I have about seven pastors. He called at the wrong time. <laughs> seven of us were inside the car. I said, what well, you say? Fine. I said, ah, they just arrested me now. And uh, sir, can you please forward something to my car now? I said, like how much? He said, 10,000. I said, okay. You will send me your account number now because as I speak to you, you are impotent right now. He called the phone. I called back. I called back. Now, let me tell you, <laughs> when I called back, now he knew but all the pastors began to blast and talk. He could hear tongue. He knew he was in trouble. So he started using bone face. He said, ah, I will show you that I am from Elisha. So he said, break me there for sure. Ah. So I kept quiet. I said, yeah, speak with that for sure. Because as soon as you drop this phone now, you are mad on the spot. He called the phone. Now I'm speaking because I know it is not possible for a for sure to work on me. There are some of you now, if you hear such call that he said a for sure, I'm coming, I'm sure you are coming for deliverance tomorrow. You abandon work. The day you see God, those things will mean nothing to you. I can't remember the last time somebody pressed me. Rather, I'm the one pressing them. I will press them. If you, if you look for my trouble, I come to press you in the dream. Yes. No, listen. The Bible says, and God created man in his own image. And he said, let them have over what? The fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, and everything that walked, you have dominion over it, And yet, somebody will fly and come and Stop a bed. Do you know that people that bed, ordinary bed, chase out of their room? Those are kind of people who have not seen God. Bed, a bed that God says you should have dominion is chasing you out. Amen. Say, Oh Lord, take me to Pene. Psalm 51 verse 6 says, Thou desire no sacrifice. Yes, I will. Have given it, thou delighted not in burnt offering. The sacrifice of God are a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Jacob came to Pene as a whole man and he left as a limping person. When you get to Pene, there must be a sign. There must be a sign that this one has been to Pene. There are several times that I will not wear suit. I don't wear suit. You can hardly will you see me on, 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 on weekly basis wearing so maybe I'm traveling and I wear suit. Why? Who is pursuing me? Sometimes I move with jean. I have appeared in a place before wearing jean and polo. And somebody look at me. I say you look like a man of something must must prove to people that you have seen God. Not by you carrying big Bible. There must be a sign that God has appeared to you. And that is the foundation of power. <laughs> you, there is no power anywhere until you have seen him. He's the one that gives the power. It is in the secret place. Men who are shakers and movers of this world, they are talking because they have seen God in their secret place. Lord, show me who you are. You can't give me a mandate and I don't know you. Many Christians are serving a God they don't know.
Genesis 32. Bible says, when he came out of Penel, <laughs> the sun arose upon him. When he came out of Penel, now it was then sun, the light shined upon him. After the encounter at Penel. Listen, you need God to, you need to pray, Lord, drag me to Penel. Kill the appetite to fornicate. Kill the appetite to steal <laughs> in me. There are some of you looking very good now. Let us come to your house. Let's go to your house. Then we will know who you are. Eh? Give me your address. Let me come and ask you. Ask of you. I'm looking for Sister Ineka. The neighbors you just slapped last night is the one, probably is the one now talking to me. You mean that winch? No, I mean our member. He? You are the pastor. Ah, you are the member. Let's come to your house. Let's just come and ask who you are. You cannot see God, and there is, a, and you can see display. And somebody, somebody provoke you, and you are still fighting. It's a sign of a man who has not seen God. A church goer can be speaking in tongue. A church goer can know how to read the Bible, and yet you don't have an encounter with God. Those who are been to Pene, they don't come to church and pray for something. They are coming to church because they love him. They, they, they come to church because they want to have a relationship with God. There are some of you who left home this morning and you are praying, Lord, I want to be fed by your word this morning. Send me a word. Those are the prayers of those who are panting after God. They don't worship God for what they want. For what, what, what they want. They worship God because they love him. Those who have been to Pene, they don't keep repenting every day. You fall today, you rise tomorrow. You, Jesus, your life today, you take it back tomorrow. Those are not the experience of those who have they, they are those who they have yielded everything about their life to Jesus. That day, you see God, the reality of who you are will be revealed to you. The truth about yourself will be shown to you. Isaiah said, I am undone. And yet he's a prophet. I am undone. That day he saw God. He said, I am undone. Now I know I dwell in the midst of unclean lips. Now I know who I am. I know my friend. My friends are people of unclean lips. That was the experience. After you are single. After you are single. Jacob had that soul is coming. <laughs> Remember he's been using his leg to run. But this time it was the same leg. God touched. So he couldn't run again with the leg. Today. You know my joy. <laughs> my joy is that there will be somebody in this meeting that want to agree with me that the best thing you need at this time is God. And God told me, he said, I am ready for them. He said, I'm ready for as many that are ready for me to reveal who I am to them. I'm ready. That's what he said. Before I climb this podium, this people say, son, I am ready. I want to show people, I want to reveal to them who I am. And I, 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 he said, they will, they will get out of this place drunk with power after they see me. After they see me. Now, what is the best thing you think you need? What do you think you need? It's him. Please bow down your head. This one prayer I want you to pray. Anything taking me far away from him. Father, take it away from me now. I want you to repent. If you need to repent. 
<laughs> I need you to repent now. You see, anything can happen in now, now. My sister, talk to God. Whatever is in me that is hindering me from seeing God, Lord, I ask, take it away from me. It is you I want to see. Whatever doesn't look like you, talk to me. That is still reflecting in me. Whatever doesn't show your grace, and God is beside you, my sister. That is magnifying himself in me. Whatever doesn't look like you, that is still reflecting in me. Whatever doesn't show your grace, that is magnifying himself in me. Take it away, oh. Take it away. 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 My sister, talk to God. Whatever is it in me, Lord. Ever doesn't look like you that is cutting me that is from you reflecting in me whatever doesn't show your grace that is magnifying self in me whatever doesn't look like you talk to God that is still reflection in me. whatever doesn't show me your grace that is magnifying self in me take it away Lord. take it away Lord. take it away Take it away. Take it away. Please, if you are here, you are not born again. I want to give you a maximum help. You can't afford this presence to pass you by. God is God will help me tell you that you should give your life to Him. I'm not saying whether you go to church. Well, you, are, you know, you know, you are not a child of God. One of the signs is that you rise and you fall. I want to give you a maximum F. Why everybody bow down their head? Please keep talking to God. Lift up your right hand. Let me pray with you. God bless you, my brother. Oh, God will bless you, my sister. Lift that hand above your head. I want to pray with you. I just want to agree with you. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. The more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus. I want to know you. If your hands are up, can you manage to stand to your feet? I want to be sure you know what you are saying. Let me be sure you know what you are saying. If your hands are up, just remain on your feet. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. If your hands are up, just rise to your feet. I want to know you more. The more I want to know you. Raise that hand above your head. Jesus. Begin to talk to God. 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 Lord, may I not leave this place the way the same way I have come. I want more of you. I want more of you, Jesus. I want more of you, Lord. I want, I want more, more of, of you. you. 
Jesus, the more I know you, the more I want to know you. Jesus, more I want more. Those of you standing up, transfer your right hand to your chest and say this after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now, Lord Jesus. Come into my life. Be my Lord and be my Savior. I realize myself as a sinner. I confess that you are my Lord. Draw me close to you today. In Jesus' name. I pray that your decision will be permanent. After today, you'll be enlisted in the army of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your life shall bring glory to the name of God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Now, listen. Everybody rise to your feet. I don't know who is this person. Please, open your eyes and rise to your feet. The Lord said, there is somebody here. I, I, I just want to see you. I'm going to say what I heard. If you, if you are not ashamed, see me before I go. You have this uncontrollable sexual urge. That sometimes when you finish doing it, you are crying. <laughs> See me. Because what I'm, what I'm hearing, may it not happen to you. You need to see me because I need to pray with you before I go. Um, you can't control yourself. Sometimes after prayer, you, you see yourself committing this immorality. And you can't just control yourself. God said we need to help you this morning. Lift up your two hands everybody. The kind of prayer you will hear this morning is not the normal prayer that you want to pray. But I know that God sent me to some certain people here right now. I don't know they now. So God my father. <laughs> my sister God will bless you. I'm seeing a sister not in the revelation, the way she's praying now, you will know that she wants this encounter. That is what you need. Are you ready? So, oh God, my father, reveal yourself to me in the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself to me. <laughs> reveal yourself to me Jesus that is my prayer this morning Jesus reveal yourself to me Reveal yourself to me. <laughs> Something is happening already. <laughs> Reveal yourself to me. Paradabasha. Reveal yourself to me. Hey, <laughs> Dabasha. It is you I want to see. Jesus, reveal yourself to me. In Jesus' name, we are praying. <laughs> My ye de backwater. Pastor, please, I need your attention. Help this brother. Please, help this brother. Um. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Leave those two ends up. You know, some people are not aggressive now. Because it is not witches that we are killing. Leave those two ends up. Say anything in my life that is standing between me and God. Collapse by fire. 
Open your mouth and fire the prayer. Anything in my life. Standing between me and God. Collapse. Whatever is it in my life. Standing between me and God. Collapse. This morning collapsed by fire. By Adababa put Baza. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The cloud is gathering. Power. Please leave those two hands up. You will cry this next prayer out very loud. Are you ready? Now? Say, appetite for sin in my life. Da. Apostle Paul said, That which I don't want to do is what I find myself doing. The one I, I want to do, I couldn't. You will deliver me from this posse. Are you ready now? Appetite for sin in my life. Da! Somebody pray, they pray. For sin in my life, God. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Please leave those two hands up. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Please pray this. There is a prayer we are going to pray. After this particular prayer, it's not part of the prayer, but pray this one very well. Are you ready now? Say anything in my life. Shout it very, very loud. God bless you like thunder that is taking me far away from God somebody pray God bless you my sister God will bless you my sister aha La gada baka para da basha. Yes. Pa para de zotaida. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. <laughs> May God open your eyes to hear what I'm hearing from this altar. The Lord said, There are 41 people under the sound of my voice. That what you are crying for, <laughs> by reason of these prayers you are praying now, it will, it will shock you what you have been crying for for years shall be delivered into your into your life in 29 days how you will know a prophet has spoken is that what he said come to pass lift those two ends up are you ready now 
Say this one loud and clear. Say, oh God, my father. Is that the loudest voice you can shout? Can somebody roar like thunder? Manifest your power in my life. In the name of Jesus. Manifest your power. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I beg you to hold your head with your two hands. I told you this prayer is not part of our prayer, but there is a sister that needs to pray it very well. I just heard it clearly now before we move back to our prayer. Say any power. Is that the loudest voice you are going to shout? That has turned glory to abomination in my life. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. I don't know if you At your feet, oh Lord, is the most blessed. In your continue that prayer. In your presence, Lord, I seek your face. I seek your face, and there is no higher calling, Lord. Jesus name we pray now be expectant now lift those two hands up the power of God is about to visit some destiny now upstairs and downstairs if I have experienced this power before if it is true I experience this power again yesterday Lord I want you to fill this act who are ready for this power raise those hands up look up unto Jesus the author and the finishers of your faith when you see God power enter power enter <laughs> Something is happening to this, my sister. Jehovah. Look at that. Please, like you have never shouted before, you have to cry this prayer out louder than anybody beside you. Let entos kapiro nasi hitaba. Somebody is here. God said you need power to also recover back everything that the enemy thought it has lost your life. Are you ready now? Say power of God! Say power of God! Are you ready? 
Thank you, Spirit of God. Leave those two ends above. Is there no one like you? Are you ready? Can you shout what I said? I say, Power of God! Enter me now! That's, that is what you are going to say for several times. When I say one, you say it loud. When I say two, you say it loud. My sister, I like your heart. Your heart is so open that I, can, I could feel it on this altar. Just get yourself ready. What you want, you will get now. Are you ready now? When I say one, echo it with a loudest voice you can shout. Wah! Please, my sister, the voice can sleep more. Come up. Can sleep more. Come up like that. Are you ready now? Two power. Happy to you now. Sam! Paulo Adasha. That's it. That's it. From a person to person. Something is happening to you, my sister. Break the power. Paria, dosia. Jesus is here. Please. Let us be silence, everybody. If you are not tired of lifting up your right hand, can you just, if, if your hands is heavy, don't worry. Lift those two hands up. Let us be silence. The, the same experience that Jacob had with you, Lord, in a place called Penir. Let this, my brother, oh God, experience the same power. Yagadada kito kaparuna nina shata yadaba. Aha, 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 aha. A parade po kaparua daba yatasha. Eyada parua. Isuziki toka parada. Eshana kataba kaparua. This is what you need now. This is what you need before other follow. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Ah, Paria, Nazazat. Please, let's have this sister. Yada Bakiapa. The power of God. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know why this angel will be standing beside this sister alone. I don't know why. I don't know why. Look at what is happening to you. They're correcting you with a new garment. That's right. That is it. That is it. That is it. That is it. Enter. Enter into the realm of the prophetic. I push you into that realm. That's right. Please, I need pastor upstairs, upstairs. Jesus, Jesus, enter into the realm of the prophetic siege. Feel my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. 
Come on, quench. Bread of heaven, fill me the Lord. Till I want no more. Fill my cup. Fill me the Lord. Come fill my cup, Lord. Hey, Shana Nani Noza. I live. in silence. Listen. Listen. I see God. Listen. Let, let that be silence, please. There's a sister here. I see you moving from a, no, a room into another bigger room. And I ask God, what is the meaning of this? He says she's changing level. Father, where is she? 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 That's right. That's right. Changing level. Jesus. Jesus. You are changing level. He <laughs> got You are changing level. You have overstayed in this level for, for long. Change level now. Iyadabasha. If you raise up your right hand, open that hand. If you are not raising it, just open that hand. <laughs> I'm dropping this mic now. Lord, I'm praying for this person. Hand over this thing, Lord, that will make this life beautiful. Jesus, in this hand that is open. I don't know who you want to give this. Is it a new gift? I don't understand, Lord. But let this thing touch this hand right now that is open. That's right. Please, Lord, give, 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 give this brother, give this sister. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let him not go back empty handed. That's right. He loves me. I cannot say why. He loves me. I cannot say why. On the Calvary tree. Yes. He's so far for me. He loves me. I cannot 